up everybody, this is Jose. I just wanted to give you guys a quick rundown of what I had when I came home from work. I had uh, came home, had two packages, and uh, I'm gonna show you guys what I got. Check it out. What's up everybody? Got home from work, got some packages from post office and Amazon. And uh, I got a few things from my SIG P320. Sit right here. Safety, safety first. Alright, I'll take this, uh, take my Valkyrie off, see what we got. Now I had ordered a, um, out for everybody who don't know, I got my dad recording, sitting outside of my backyard under my awning. I had ordered a, um, a rotary tool kit and a soldering iron, so I'll be trying to experiment in, um, stippling. Also, I, I think this is my frame. And it came with a um, SIG PP20 powder holster. Um, 12 round magazine for the subcompact. And it came with the uh, Coyote, Coyote Brown. You see? Yeah. Yeah, the Coyote Brown looking grip module for the uh, subcompact. Now, what people don't know is with the subcompact, there's two of them you can order. If you order the small, the small does not come with a rail. Um, I do run a light on my on my firearm, so you know the, the, the small doesn't come with a rail. So. Um, if you get the uh, medium or large grips, I've, I've got really big hands, so, you know, I wanted to run a little something smaller. Now, the compact version that I've got, it runs 15 rounds. Um, with the new setup, it's going to have 12 rounds, rounds, so this is going to have 12 rounds, and these are um, actually SIG branded products, so these are OEM what they call it. Uh, so that's 12 rounds for the self-compact. It did come with a poopy extension. Now if you guys are looking for, uh, for SIG or any other firearms product, um, you can actually go on CDN Sports. And I got this for 19 bucks that came with this. And then this was $19 as well. So about 54 bucks with shipping and everything and it took about three days. So I'm gonna show you guys uh, after I put everything together. All right, you guys. So of course, you know you want to safety check, double check, brought you know, no uh, no magazine with no bullets, nothing in the chamber. You want to let the slide lock back, put on your takedown lever, let the slide rock a lot right forward, set that aside. We don't need that right now. Now I do need to take take the takedown lever out, set that there, and take out the assembly. Set that there. Now, the new grip module did not come with a slide release. I mean, a uh, magazine magazine release. So, I need to remove this one from here to put it here. Now, to do this, you have to make sure that you have something nice and pointy, something with a fine point. If you have a really small Allen key, um, I've seen some people do it with a um, a paper clip or a, even a safety pin. All you do is, you push this up, there's a little hole right here that you want to put in there. When you do that, it's a little, little hard to get, sometimes it takes a couple times. You do that, and then you're able to, you should be able to go ahead and uh, remove this little push pin detent. Like I said, it sometimes it takes a little bit. It took me a couple of tries the first time around to get it. What I do is I take it and then kind of... It takes a little bit of patience, a little bit of patience to get this to get this out, get this taken care of. I know when you push in. As I push in, I kind of lean it against my chest a little bit. I'm gonna have to do this off camera. All right, so you push it, you pull this little detent up, 
take that out. Don't lose that. All right, once you get this, do not let this just fly down. You need to turn it up. Reason being because there's a spring right there. And of course, like I said, I'm doing this in my, uh, under my back porch. So the last thing you want to do is have this spring fall out there and uh, and, I, and you lose it. So now you just take it and let me make sure that I'm sliding this in the right way. This will go like this. Through here. As long as you got it in, you take it, you push it up, just like that. And let's see, make sure I've got this going in the right way. You take it, slide it, you hit it click, and there you go. And everything's in there. Now this is the new, this is the new uh, grip models that I've got. Like I said, this is the medium size for the subcompact. So all you do is just reverse it. You just put everything back. Of course, everything slides in. You want to make sure that this seats all the way back before you put in your takedown lever. There's a little, there's a little notch right there on the side that you want to make sure your takedown lever goes in on. It takes a little finessing sometimes. I also heard that if you, you can actually, here's a trick, you can actually release, hit your, uh, your slide clash release, and then slide it in and it slides in just a, a tad bit easier, so. Of course, just like before, take it, lock it back. Once you lock it back, it should be fine to go ahead and slide on your, your slide. Lock your slide back, take down lever, let it ride forward, there you go. Lever, everything is exactly the same. Your frame does, uh, it a little bit more forward but I actually kind of like this look um test you know test function test everything seems to be working just fine locks back just fine everything seems to be cool all right you guys and I'm just gonna take this down with one more time really fast okay all right so as you guys can see get a side angle side angle as you guys can see, there's a um, a size different, but it's, it's as you can see from the you give you a top angle. Um, it is fairly shorter. So this is subcompact, compact. This is the one that's probably going to get the stipple work done to it. And if I can practice on this one to get good, I'll be doing this one. Um, everything else is pretty much exactly the same. Uh, the beaver tail comes up about the same as you see this one here is just a little bit wider and then this one here for some reason is not it could be a color difference but I actually like the way this one fits even though my pinky hangs off just a little bit and this one here my pinky hangs on but it's a little bit narrow okay. I actually like the way it looks as you can see my pinky kind of hangs off on it a little bit but it just feels so much better. It's a little bit meaty. Also, um, this is three, uh, 320 subcompact, but it comes with a, uh, a curved trigger guard versus the, the compact actually comes with a squared off trigger guard. Um, it's got the ridges and everything in the front, but I can care less about the trigger guard. Um, I don't shoot and hold this piece here in. Um, I shoot with a thumbs forward grip. Um, now, one thing I just realized, now if you are going to use the subcompact, um, the PL Valkyrie Mini 2 is not actually going to fit flush, and I mean it's pretty tight, but it's not going to be, it, it will slide off. Um, that's that's something to keep a lookout, so I'll probably be looking for another, another handheld light um, that Olight makes, because I do like their charging. The internal battery and you can charge it and it lasts a really good while um now this is like i said the uh sig oem magazine that comes with the 12 rounds 
Like I said, this is a uh, 15 round magazine, and then this one's a 12 round magazine. You can see they both say made in Italy, made in Italy. Um, they both say six hour, nine millimeter on them. So that's something, you know, it, it, this, this magazine will work 15 rounds, so this will end up being my backup magazine. Uh, but I normally don't carry two mags unless I'm at the range or unless I'm in an uncomfortable environment. If I'm in a comfortable environment, then I shouldn't be in that environment. Um, it did come with, like I said, a factory SIG six hour um, paddle holster. Now these holsters are not really that good to carry um, openly, but it is a good range holster. Um, so if you guys decide to actually buy this combo, like I said, I paid $19 for the grip module and it came with the paddle holster. Um, and then the magazine was, was $19 as well on cdnsports.com. Check them out, I love it. Um, this stuff came from, um, from Abilene, Texas, which is about maybe two, three hours away from where I'm at. Um, so it did take about two days for it to come in. I ordered the on a Friday and it showed up on Monday. So that's actually not that bad. Um, my wife said I was excited like a little schoolgirl. Now, just as a function test, it, it did come with this little little plastic block inside of here. I'm going to go ahead and take that crap out. Function test with the uh, new magazine, as you can see. Um, I do like the, the dual tone, um, and it, it's got, it's recessed right here, so if I need to strip that magazine out, I absolutely can. Um, magazine falls out just fine. I'm sure using it a couple of times in the weight of some of uh, bullets, um, and once I break it in, it actually probably falls out even better. Now, I do use frog lube for my mags to make the slide a little bit better, um, but... Once I get that pinky extension on there, got 12 rounds in the subcompact handgun, and uh, it's a full-size grip, so it's actually pretty good. I actually like it. You know what I mean? It locks up pretty good with that with that magazine in it. So uh, yeah, not too bad, not too bad at all. Now I appreciate you guys stopping in to check me out. Um, like I said, I will be getting some range time in with this setup just to see exactly how it how it works and how everything is. Um, and I'll, I'll check back with you guys and let you guys know exactly how everything worked out. Now my range is an indoor, it does not allow um, uh, unholster fire, you can't draw from a holster. So I probably won't use this um, uh, unless I'm out in my cousin's uh, you know, land or something like that. But um, which we're working on getting you guys some footage for that as well. Now I will have to check and see if um, my FD holster uh, inside the waistband will still work uh, with the Olight Mini. Like I said, it does it does fit, but it's not a very tight fit. So if you're not going to use it at home as a, uh, a nightstand gun, um, then I wouldn't run it with a flashlight unless it absolutely fits. But if you need a flashlight, uh, then you know buy a handheld for the time being. Alright, just wanted to show everybody the few holsters that I had when I had the compact uh, module on it, uh, which would have came with. Uh, this is the uh, outside of the waistband that this grip module actually came with. It fits it perfect. You do have to tighten down this retention screw. It does have space here for, uh, for you know, the, the compact or the full-size version of it, which, I like I said, I probably won't use this unless I absolutely need to. Um, now, with the, the Valkyrie light on it, it does fit my FD holster. It does fit it pretty good. Um, so, I, I may end up running it like this just for the time being until I can find a way to find another light when I'm at home. Um, see? Now, this is a BF uh, Makes. Uh, if I'm, excuse me if I'm not saying it right, but I ordered this off of Amazon. Um, great holster, um, very minimalist, and it fits it perfect, snaps right in. Um, as you can see, it does have the grip, the mold for the angled square instead of the, instead of the curve. But it fits it just fine, and then my main thing is with my Bravo Concealment BCA outside the waistband holster, 
Um, it fits it perfectly. Um, it actually makes it more compact or slimline. So um, I am waiting for Bravo Consumer to actually come out with the to have more of the paddles um, for easy on and off. Um, they're they're out of stock. They've been out of stock for a while. Please, Mr. Renee, you can go ahead and get those back in stock, man. I would definitely be buying it and reviewing it. But other than that, I just want to show you guys that this is my carbon fiber Commodore blade. I normally carry with me on a regular basis. I've got maybe six or seven different knives, but this has been the one I've been carrying for the past two weeks. I rotate between those. Uh, like I said, this is my everyday carry between my Glock 27. Um, I'll be doing an EDC uh, video just showing you guys exactly what I carry on a regular basis. And uh, I greatly appreciate you guys for checking me out. And uh, like I said, CDN Sports, Amazon, you guys rock.